Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be doing a video of me trying out Snowflake OS for a very first time. Um, this was recommended to me by a few people on YouTube as well as um, all over the internet. People really wanted me to try out Snowflake OS and I'm here to try it out for a very first time. So let's read more about it. So Snowflake OS is a hobby OS to help me learn about kernel stuff to eventually get into the Linux kernel development. So he created it as a hobby to learn more about how the kernel works and how an operating system works because he wants to get involved with Linux um, kernel development, which is pretty cool. Um, if here is a screenshot, you have to um, run all the applications within the terminal. And if here is just basically a very simple painting software that says, hey, so that's pretty nice. Hello there. Um, if I scroll the way down, you guys can obviously read more of it or more of it in your free time. You guys can build your own version of it if you wanted to, but they come with an ISO um, image, so you guys don't really need to know to do any building. Um, if it is a blog over there on that website, which I'll leave down in the description as well, that GitHub page basically talks about um, the improvements they have done. Recently, what they have done in December the 15th in 2020, they have added support for Doom. Which is pretty cool, isn't it? We all love Doom. Doom is the greatest game in this entire world. And if we disagree, then you're not a true gamer. Doom is like literally the greatest game that has ever existed. And if the operating system does not have Doom, it's not a good operating system. Every operating system must have Doom. <laughs> But yeah, um, let's go ahead and install it. So to install the ISO image, just go down to releases and download the latest version, which is 0 0.7. And then from here, we should be able to install the ISO. You guys can install the ISO to a USB stick, or you guys can try out in a virtual machine like I am. So I'll be using Q, um, QEMU um, for devisation software to be able to um, run this operating system. But you guys can use Vertibox and GNOME boxes if we truly wanted to. Okay, let's press on the enter key. I'll now go ahead and boot up to Snowflake OS, which is the Talon Challenge Edition. Press on the enter key. And now as you guys can see, I was able to boot up. So over here shows up the um, the operating system name, which is Snowflake OS. And if here shows up the version, which is 0 0.7. And if here shows up the uptime, and I was running this operating system for 15 seconds. So this shows up how long I was running the system for. Okay, let's do LS to see everything that we can do in this um, operating system. What does background do? I wrote it wrong. Background doesn't do anything. Okay, LS. Let's do calc. So I would assume that's gonna be the calculator application and we guys can do like nine times 9 plus 3 and that should give you the answer of being 12. You guys can do 9 times by 1 and that should give the answer of being 9. You guys can also do division as well um, and so on. It doesn't seem like there's any way of actually being able to exit from the application which is quite annoying but um, yeah basically can't exit from it. And I'm going to try to um, make this window bigger if I can which I don't think I can. But yeah, it's quite annoying when you can't really make this window bigger and smaller. Um, so yeah, <laughs> they should add this in. And they should also allow it add in a support to be able to exit from the actual application as well. Um, otherwise, they just keep it running for no absolutely no reason. Okay, let me click back onto the terminal. I can now run the cut command, which I don't think there's any text documents within here. But cat will just... Um, We'll display all of the um, every court every um, basically we'll just contain um, we'll display to the end user the um, the text document. So for example, if I do cat.txt, that will display the um, the cat.txt document to the terminal. We won't be able to edit it, so it's basically a very simple um, document viewer. We can look at it as which allows it to see what's um, within this text document. So that's pretty cool. Let me do ls and now guys should be able to run the doom application which is basically a video game it's quite an old video game actually it was made um very old if you guys kill it if you guys type down doom if it is on the enter key it should now allow it to run doom let me just um move this window in the center amazing if i now press on the enter key i can select new game i can select which episode i want to do so let's do the um source of hell i never played that one this is shareware version of Doom. We need to order the entire trilogy. Press a key. Okay. 
let's just do new game let's do for top one then if we can't do for other two I'm too young to die and that's so true I am too young to die so here is the game I can now move around but I don't know how to shoot um, but yeah here's Doom where am I going I'm going to press on the escape key, I'm just going to click on to, I'm going to select the quit out of the game. Let's press Y to quit, to DOS, and uh, now it seems like it's just um, stuck in the background. We won't be able to exit from it, it's just, it's just um, frozen at this point. So now what we guys can now do is do LS again, and you guys can do something like Doom.map, and hopefully that does um, do something. And my desktop is now frozen, so if I do Control alt g if I do Machine, if I do Reset, then if I set the Snowflake OS Challenge Edition, if I now do LS, I should now be able to run doom.map unless that's what caused the system to freeze. And it doesn't like it. So it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. And I do believe that files is gonna be like a file directory and then from here we should be able to select which um which uh, file I want to select and open. So for example, if I double click on the paint software, it should allow me to use the painting software. Or you guys can double click on the Doom and it should allow me to use Doom, but it's not working. Uh, let me click on these two dots. Okay, now it's just a black screen. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, okay. Let me do LS. Um, I don't know what um, mod D does. You guys can do MV for my, um, can I do MV.help? I think this allows you to source direct this destination. Okay. So I think what MV does allows you to move one file to another directory. So that's what MV uh, I do believe is meant to do. Um, okay, now let me try to run PA, which um, doesn't seem to be working. I meant to do like something else with it. Uh, but let's try to run the painting software. Okay, so here's the painting software. Let me select red. Let me just double click onto the screen. Do I have to see it first? Double click. I'm going to select this color now. And now as you guys can see, I'm starting to draw. Um, it does take a while though. We have to click onto like the canvas multiple times, which can be annoying. But if I go ahead and select the purple or pink, where this color is, then it should allow me to change the actual color, as you guys can see. So that is pretty cool. And you guys can um, double double click on the canvas again to uncancel from drawing. And you guys can select save, and that should save the painting. And you guys can do clear to clear the board as well. Isn't this amazing? You guys won't be able to exit from it because there's no way of doing so. So I'm just going to keep it over there. Now you guys can do ls and now we can see what does spam windows do i never ran this command before but let's try it out right now so let's do spam windows um you won a prize you won a prize what price did i win <laughs> it's actually just a virus it's actually just a virus that's we know that that mems virus is kind of uh, reminds me of that um but yeah it's quite annoying <laughs> Okay, let me do Control Alt G. I'm gonna go ahead and just reset this machine because I don't think I think this is meant to like a file should have clone. Um, I think it's harmless though. So if I do LS, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. If I now do Sys Info, that should display for system information to me. We got kernel keep used. We got RAM used. We got RAM total. So it gives us more of a RAM information rather than this entire system. It could have told us how much storage we got. Um, it should tell us um, what is our uh, motherboard, what is our CPU and all that. Um, and so just telling us what the RAM is. Because <laughs> we might as well just change it to being RAM info instead of saying system information, you know, because it just displays information about the RAM. But that's a good starting point in my honest opinion. We guys can obviously type down terminal and that should um, open up a new terminal for us. So that's pretty cool. Test, which I'm not completely sure what test does, but here is test. Um, unlink missing arguments if I do unlink dash dash help I don't even have support for help but let's see what this does okay it doesn't do anything it's not really displaying anything for unlink so I'm going to have a look at this um, another time so 
let's see what does created does. So let's do created. Okay, that one doesn't do anything either. And I would assume that RGB is like some some um some image files. So if I go ahead, RGB my system just froze. Control Alt G. If I now go to machine reset. If I open up the operating system again, if I do created again, um, created invalid command. If I do ls, okay, it's not there anymore. Okay, so if I do now do wallpaper. Dot rgb, does that display the wallpaper or something? Um, wallpaper. Dot rgb. I've got a feeling my system has froze again. So let's do control g. Let's go to machine reset. Now let's open up the operating system again. Let's do ls. Now let's do wallpaper. Dot rgb. Okay, that doesn't work. So I'll be able to uh, to do this, <laughs> which I do believe would be able to allow you to see the image or be able to uh, see the document if we write down like wallpaper to rgb. Um, so my overall review is it going to be like six hour ten because it does have a few issues. Um, and you guys can't really close out of the applications and the guys can't like make the applications bigger or smaller and the terminal doesn't even have like a scroll bar and you can't make the terminal bigger which is quite annoying um, but overall it's quite a nice operating system it looks quite modern and it's just very simple to use um, and I do see good future for it and I like the way they added support for Doom Doom is quite important and I love Doom and if an operating system doesn't have Doom um, and they're available for it that it's not a very good operating system and I'm joking um, but yeah Doom is a very good game and I'm just happy to see Doom being involved in this um, ha hobby operating systems it makes me happy you know to see that they are trying to add in some games to these um, operating systems but this is Snowflake OS um, I will leave down some links in the description for example their blog website as well as their github for guys to see the source code it is open source and will guys be so be able to install the ISO on the github page as well anyway guys if you like this video please put a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys um, next time bye bye